Oh yeah, oh yeah, Knights of Apollo. What is up, guys? Welcome back to the battlefield. And this one is going to be epic. We are playing NTW3, the mod for Total War Napoleon. And we have a port battle. Yeah, that's right, guys. Check out this map. Check out this map. It's a huge map. It leads to a port, and there's actual ships on the battlefield. Now, why didn't they do this in Napoleon Vanilla? Even though they don't operate, even though they're not gonna, it would be so cool. I know, I know in like Shogun 2, they added like supporting artillery, like ships and stuff, which is really cool. But I wish they did something like this in Napoleon to actually have these ships function and fire at the, um, at the enemy forces that are attacking your port. I think that would be really awesome. You can see on the map here, there are, um, po it's a point system. So you have to capture these strategic points and whoever has the most points at the end of the battle is victorious. Or if you dominate the enemy and completely crush your forces, that's, you know, that's obviously the other way of winning the battle. And I'm really glad we do have a bit of a marine presence on the battlefield. We got a navy here because that reminds me of today's sponsor, Gunship Battle Crypto Conflict. Gunship Battle Crypto Conflict is a free-to-play, play-and-earn 4x war strategy game from the 100 million globally downloaded Gunship Battle franchise. Players will be able to collect titanium through mining on titanium islands and completing daily missions and other in-game activities, which in turn can be exchanged into a utility coin called Milico, M-I-L-I-C-O, that can be exchanged for WeMix token and the monetization process on the WeMix platform. That way you can feel the experience of playing games while earning profits and investing in cryptocurrency. So Crypto Conflict is developed by Gunship Battle Total Warfare Studio Joy City. The latest entry in the popular marine combat series has been designed so that naval combat fans can enjoy the core content that has made the Gunship Battle franchise so remarkable. From content such as cross-server world war tournaments, Blitz Defense, Armada Strike Group, and world boss battles. Titanium is the new in-game resource that the players acquire through in-game activities and then use this resource to exchange for Milico or Miliso, uh, the in-game blockchain token. Players are tasked with building and maintaining naval bases while producing and directing land, sea, and air units, devising tactical maneuvers and researching modern military technology. As the Admiral at the helm, players will spend their time strategizing, forging global co-op alliances, and fighting for mankind's future. So guys, what are you waiting for? Look at the link down below and download Gunship Battle Crypto Conflict. There is also a link to their Discord, which of course is always great for getting tips, meeting new people so don't wait any longer be sure to click on that link down in the video description so a big big thank you to gun gunship battle crypto conflict uh it's it's sponsors like these that help me uh, keep doing this for a living so thank you to them for making my job possible so be sure to uh, uh check out the link check out the game and uh and have some fun now let's jump back into the battle all right, guys, back to the battlefield here. You can see that the French are advancing forward. They are the attackers here. So we have four French armies on the battlefield. Two here, one here, and then one far out there. Oh, this would be their far left side. Now on the, the coalition side, we have the Austrians. We have the British, Spanish, Portuguese. So basically an Iberian force and then with the British. And then we have just... The British. How about that? It's been a while since we just seen the British. Uh, and then finally, we have the Spanish all the way over on this would be their far right flank. So those are the armies that are going to be participating in today's conflict. Let's see how this pans out. So the French naturally have moved forward. Oh, by the way, this is a um, Spanish map. I, does it snow in Spain? I guess like northern Spain, I assume. Uh, but yeah, uh, this is a Spanish map 
and uh, there's some snow on the ground, so that's pretty cool. The French are it, uh, the, the French are scouting with their cab, so they're just kind of looking for enemy forces. You can see that the British Spanish force has uh, the same thing. They've got their cab up here. We're starting to see some some infantry as well join this battlefield and uh, or like appear on the battlefield. And this, of course, is the Spanish French uh, Portuguese force. Uh, we also see a lot of Austrians advancing forward as well. Austrians got some killer. I, I love their uniforms. I really do. I mean, what what uniforms do you not love? That's probably what you're thinking. Jeez, Paul, what uniforms do you not love? You're right. You're right. I do like... They're all special in their own unique way, but some are better than others. Like, uh, I would say the French uniform is the best. I, maybe I'm being a little biased. Maybe. I mean, don't get me wrong. Like, there's... I, it's tough. It, like, the Prussian uniform is also very very nice it's very clean um you know i just think i like the blue the blues and blacks um i do like the red trim with the french i mean like <laughs> what are we doing right now just talking about uniforms uh so no no conflict yet no fighting yet is what i'm trying to say uh nobody has engaged their forces the french do have quite the task ahead of them if we look at the map these are the locations. these are the key locations now they've got one kind of behind them this is a four point position okay so that's good they now currently control a two point position so they have a total of six points the co coalition currently controls a three-point position, and it looks like the French, I wouldn't say they control this area, but they're definitely contesting this two-point area. Now, let's keep in mind that the coalition has a four-pointer in the town, so this is kind of balances out the four-pointer that was behind, oops, let's zoom up here, that was behind the French forces, so... Uh, these points will matter. I think for the French to win this, all they have to do is take the four, two, and three, and that's enough to win. That is enough to win. So I think that's what they're going to go for. Uh, I don't know what the plan of action is over here. We can now see some Spanish Cav advancing forward, and France does not like that. So Spain is kind of displaying their dominance, their presence, if you want to say, uh, for control of this two-pointer, uh, which this is like so so right like this point right here is not mandatory for the french to take to win this battle it's really in my opinion if i was in this game now things changes right you know things definitely change battles flow different directions but for now i would say the three pointer and the two pointer which they currently have is absolutely vital that they hold on to that and then take the three pointer which currently is under control of the Austrian forces, which now have established their artillery position and are opening fire on the French. There they go. There they go. So they are now opening fire. It looks like, what are they going for? Some cab? Yeah, they are opening fire on the cab. I like it. It's putting a little bit of a, a flame under their feet, uh, so to speak, uh, trying to get them to make a move potentially or just making them uncomfortable. My goodness. Somebody just lost their head there. That would be pretty gnarly if you actually could so could see, like, soldiers losing their heads, you know, just, like, decapitated soldiers uh, from cannonballs. It would be pretty uh, pretty nasty. Um, but, unfortunately, you don't see that. Um, well, or fortunately, I don't know. I don't know if what people want to see that. Uh, but, yeah, we've got the French kind of in a Mexican standoff here. Uh, not really make... Uh, really, this whole battle has been a bit of a Mexican standoff. Usually, these battles begin to go. Now, the French, I think, have just given the order to advance forward and begin the assault upon this town. Now, this is an early French army. Uh, this one is a 1799 army, uh, which you can see kind of the earlier uniforms. So this isn't like, this is not the greatest of French armies. Uh, now, keep in mind, if you've never played this game, maybe you enjoy watching these battles, but you never play. One thing to uh, keep in mind is that each army or faction is represented by a number that number basically tells you the strength of that army so when you're playing against opponents you want to keep the numbers even right so for example some factions like italy you know italy or 1799 france here their power numbers are not going to be as big like the bigger the number the stronger the faction so you kind of have to um when you play multiplayer to keep it fair you have to pick faction you have to have the same number like all the all the armies added up the same number I hope, hopefully i'm not confusing you but basically the armies have to be even to makes it more entertaining more exciting 
you don't want to just see someone dominate dominate another player um but yeah that's um that's one thing to consider when playing this game uh so we'll see now we're starting to see more and more of the coalition force uh austria is here uh they've got their artillery another another um unit of artillery excuse me another unit of artillery we've got more austrian infantry to support that artillery in case the french get a little uh a little anxious and goes for a cab charge uh then we have the spanish infantry they are making their presence known uh and they look pretty glorious look at these i love the top hats you know love the top hats looks pretty cool i always love too when you see like one random horse guy you know it's like the captain on horseback or something or the not the captain but like Maybe like the, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But it just looks cool to see like one horse amongst men. You know, it just looks more realistic, I guess. The French are currently eyeballing. Look at that. Like, holy crap. We might want to report this to high command, dude. <laughs> like, that's a big army. Uh, they're just sitting there watching them. So I think they're going to make a move for this hill right here. Now, keep in mind, this is the strategic building that needs to be captured. But this hill will give Spain a bit of a nice uh, terrain position. They're still going to be, like, a little bit lower than the French stationed up here. That'll be interesting to see how this one progresses. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's going on here? What is going on? Oh, we did get a French cab charge. Oh, my goodness. They, the mad lads went for it. The mad lads went for it. Dude, I cannot tell you how many times. This is insane. Oh, my God. And, uh, and we missed it. And we freaking missed it. I'm so sorry. So they're going to go in. The French are going to countercharge the Austrians who, who scared off the French cab that originally went in for the, the, the charge. Now, they do get most of the artillery. Oh, this unit's breaking, too. Oh, man. The Austrian artillery has been destroyed. That's a huge huge win for the french forces that was a good play and guys i cannot stress like how often i see that you really really got to have defenses near your artillery you cannot let the artillery get charged like that i cannot stress enough how important artillery is in this mod i mean really it's important in in vanilla napoleon as well but it's super important in this mod because it, it's just a such a it's such an important tool you know it, it can do so much it can do powerful shots close range long range medium range grape shot normal you know round shots you can snipe out generals with it accidentally wink wink accidentally i didn't mean to <laughs> some people get so salty when the general gets sniped i mean i get it it's frustrating but it is what it is uh but yeah that's you got to make sure you have cav nearby a unit that can form square uh you need to be ready you need to look out for any sudden strikes from the french or from your opponent's calf um so whoever you're you know you're you're taking on so that and also that's a pro move that's the other thing let's reverse that perspective wise that's a great play right like when you're playing this game if you ever see enemy artillery out of position you have an obligation okay this is a must this is a must you must okay you must take it out it will do wonders for you uh now we've got the french kind of gathering up their uh, their cab once again so this has been this is why i love this mod right here the slow approach you know the strategy but i just i can't imagine what the players are thinking right now and now that that artillery has been wiped out now that it's gone the french have an open uh, well it's it's still going to be challenging right it's still going to be a challenging approach but they have a much more um much more less dangerous <laughs> much more less <laughs> you get what i'm saying it's less dangerous for them okay it's less dangerous for them because they don't have to deal with artillery they don't have to deal with grape shot and losing dozens of men every volley so now they're going to use the buildings as a bit of a cover see see how they're using this building here to kind of watch the flank the right flank of their lines and there we go that's the first shot heard around the world the austrian grenadiers open fire on the advancing french An absolute beautiful start to this battle. Fighting across the creek. And there we go. The French are firing back. And there you have it, guys. This is our first infantry engagement. And this is, like I said, 
I cannot stress how important it was for the French to win there. How important it was for them to actually take that artillery. Because this is a key town. This is a key. You might even want to see like Spain move their artillery to help Austria. Because this is not important. And look at this. The French have just taken the town. <laughs> That's not good. I mean, it's not the end of the world, but... Spain might have to like push back here and they're they've set up a line. They don't look like they're interested in pushing back. So we'll see what Spain does, but for now this is this is big. This is big for Austria and Austria is already looking like they are potentially falling back. But here's a problem, guys. You see these buildings right at their backs? There's no retreat from here. They have to go around. They have to go around like so or can they jump over this fence? Let's see. Okay, yes. And when I when I mean by jump, I mean can they walk through it? <laughs> oh man. Anyway, so they can okay, that's good. I was worried that they're gonna be stuck and they'd have to go around and they'd just get shot to hell by the French. And now we have more French forces advancing on the other side of the Austrian defense. And this is going so well for the French. It's a it's a great start, but you know, I've seen great starts diminish very quickly um, in these types of battles. So they are in a brutal fight against Austria over on this side. It does appear that France, I mean, if I was France, I wouldn't even attack Spain. I would just hold on to this position. Um, it, it does look like, yeah, they are moving forward their infantry. Yeah, look at these guys. Oh my goodness. Look at these men. Dude. <laughs> So yeah, they're advancing forward and they're going to help join the uh, defense of this little town, which again is a two point, uh, two point objective there. But this is not looking good. Hold on. We've got a little bit of a cav engagement here. The French going in for a cav charge. This looks like a losing charge. The British send in fresh troops to counter this charge. And there you have it though. There, there you have it though I don't I don't know sometimes I say stuff like that makes sense in my head and then when I say it I'm like wait why did I just say that <laughs> but the British are gonna fall back from that engagement with a the victory uh, they break the um, I think they were going for the artillery or did they get the artillery oh my goodness dude I keep miss this is how sudden and how effective these cap charges are I am even missing these cap charge yes they destroyed more artillery Oh, and then we've got a big cab charge over here where Austria and the French are duking it out. I think he's trying to protect his infantry from collapsing, which honestly, the French are doing a great job. I mean, they're outnumbered here. Let's see if they can hang on. I think they're going to break soon, though. They've got to fight this fresh unit of uh, Austrian cav. And, and I, no, they don't get it done. But they do break one unit of infantry. Another issue for... Uh, uh, no, oh wait, is he gonna send in another cab unit? Let's see. It looks like he's he's thinking about it It looks like he's doing it. He's got the fifth hussars going in for a charge. He's like no 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 We're gonna win this And uh, yeah He's taking on a nice charge and the in the uh, dragoons here of Austria did not get a counter charge off So they kind of lost on the uh, charge bonus more and more French infantry are piling on on this city assault look at this this is so cool like I i'm just gonna say it now all right i'm just gonna say it now napoleon total war is the most beautiful total war ever made okay and i'm not saying the graphics are necessarily better than say the newer total wars but i'm talking from an atmospheric grand epic oh wait here's another cap battle between spain and france but i mean just look at this look how beautiful this is this is unbelievable it's fantastic it looks amazing uh it really does look like a real historical battlefield i mean sure like the units don't look amazing some of the soldiers don't even have swords <laughs> i don't know what's going on there uh but yeah it's just and Spain does a great job with that cav engagement. Really good job. Well, actually, no. Spain's losing. <laughs> My bad. 
I was thinking these soldiers in red were Spanish. No, they are the French. Or at least they're part of the French army. So there you have it. A nice little engagement of Cav that the French come out on top. It's looking very promising for the French forces. They are doing an absolute killer job of pushing back the Austrians, taking out vulnerable targets like the um, artillery. Oh, what do we got here? We got uh, this like French B B uh, Bavarian force going in for a charge. Look at this, he's going for some lights that are not being defended. But yeah, I mean, from an atmospheric standpoint, from a grand, just overall captures the the beauty and horror of war. I would say Napoleon Total War is by far the best Total War for doing that. I mean, just absolutely gorgeous. And I, you know, I'm really, it really sucks. It really does suck. When you look at, um, and by the way, the French are just rounding up these Austrians here they are just oh and they went in for a bayonet charge look at this look at this folks again look at the atmosphere the smoke the gunfire the buildings the vegetation the layout the design it looks amazing and unfortunately these two units break um, from the fight and we have the Austrians kind of trying to recover from that. And now we have a fight for the building. So this is a fight for the three-point building, which the French are currently contesting against uh, these Austrian forces. All right, let's see what's going on, going on over here because I am noticing a lot of breaking happening. Where, oh. The Spanish are breaking. The French are charging. But yeah, guys, I mean, obviously, if you compare the newer Total Wars graphically, the newer ones look better, I guess, you know, if even. Oh, my goodness. Big charge here. Get a little bit of framiness. I'm not really sure why. Still looks beautiful. Sorry, this, this map was kind of big for a long time. I do apologize that, about that. But it has helped me a lot on, like, catching epic moments. But we've got a brutal fight here between the French and Spanish. I don't even know. There's a lot of bayonet charging going on. Not a lot of line battles, like gunfire. But damn, this... I mean, just look how epic this is. All right, the French uh, still popping shots on the Austrians. But they have made some great progress. The French are actually now falling back here a little bit. I think it's because the uh, British Iberian force here is uh, is becoming a little bit more of a problem. Adding extra troops to this fight. And uh, that's desperately what Austria needs right now is that extra support. Extra support. But this is going to be key. This battle right here is going to be key. Now we have British forces over here as well. So we have... Is, that's correct, right? Yeah, three French armies here. And then one over here. So basically over here, it's a 1v1. Oh, but maybe not. I'm trying to... Was this only half an army? You can see the French have taken control of the village. This army that was like up on this hill is kind of gone. In the chaos of this fighting. But now we have another French force advancing forward. Getting dangerously close to the Spanish infantry. I mean, that's a little intimidating, right? Even if you're picking off guys here and there, like, if you go and look at the Spanish forces here, and, like, imagine you were one of them, and you're just shooting these guys, and they just kept getting closer and closer and closer. It's a little intimidating, you know? It's like, oh, my God, they are fearless. What are they doing, though, for real? Huh. There's definitely some noticeable performance issues i wonder if hmm, i might have to turn down my settings here a little bit i turned them up because i noticed that the settings were a little too low for my liking in the previous battles but i turned them up for this one i might have to adjust like the shadows or something but here we go cab charge going in this is a uh, a french cab charge going after the iberian cav when I say Iberian, I mean like the British, Spanish, Portuguese. 
that like a beer Iberian Alliance nice little engagement for the French uh, they should definitely back away though but they're not they're not backing away they are now going for this Austrian infantry there they go oh they almost ran into that volley some of them did get taken out by the volley nice little cab charge let's see if they can break the spirits of these grenadiers the grenadiers should recover though they are trained for the oh no they break wow and they're gonna keep going look at that they need to form square here what an aggressive cab charge going after the infantry all right guys so i uh, actually went through my settings to uh turn down the shadow quality a little bit um i don't think it looks too different it's still performing a little slow here. It, it could be just the battle replay itself, but I don't really, I don't really know. Anyways, I don't want to bore you guys with that side of video making. Uh, but yeah, we've got a lot of fire coming down from the French as they advance forward and uh, continue to contest this town and trying to. Uh, you know put a lot of pressure on these Austrians and it, it's paying off fantastic tactical cab charge that we saw in this town uh, wiping out some grenadiers I mean look at the carnage of this town absolutely bloody absolutely devastating now back over on this side the French what is going on here my goodness this this side of the battle has been a bit confusing because I keep looking away and every time I look back over here something weird is happening the French look like they are breaking a huge chunk. A huge chunk of the Spanish forces. Spain now is on this hill in a desperate last stand. Look, they're getting surrounded. We have French infantry behind them. French infantry uh, head on. Apply directly to the head. There they go. They're going to they're gonna match these. They're going to face these Spanish. Take them on. And all these ships can do is watch in horror as it looks like so far the French are dominating this battlefield it's still far from over for sure but it's still a um, still a uh, long way to go now the French are advancing over on this is the far side which really has not seen any action yet uh, so this is the very far side uh, the French are moving up and they're going to take on this town now this this town have points I don't think so I don't think so so uh, it's still gonna be tough to assault because the defenders the coalition force has a sizable uh, f army up on a hill they have artillery here they're currently firing at the French that are to the right of them and these guys are kind of taking it slow too I mean most of the fighting is in the center here where the French have officially have taken control of about half the city, but really it's the, the most important half because they controlled the three-pointers. So if the game ended right now, the French would win. Well, sort of. That's assuming that they put troops in the four-pointer, the two-pointer, and the three-pointer. I think if there's a building with no points on them, maybe it counts as one point. I'm not really sure. Or maybe it's zero points. All right. We've got some French forces breaking over here. Oh, wait, here we go. Cab charge by the water. So it looks like the British broke some French cab. Now the French are going to send in another unit, but they only break again. Ah, but the British don't have the stomach to keep carrying, for, keep going forward. And they are also going to flee the battle as well now the infantry is advancing on their position so it will be interesting to see what this inf infantry can do against this British force uh, they've already they've I don't know this is looking pretty promising for the coalition uh, you know they've got some forces moving up there they've they've won some cab engagements this might be what the coalition needs right now to turn this battle around they've got uh, they've got this building under control the French are really moving up aggressive though they're really gonna try uh, to to hit this this side with full force now back over on this side this is where things 
are really troublesome for um, the French force, or I'm sorry, the coalition forces, because the Spanish army is virtually gone. And I kind of wonder, like, what exactly did they do? <laughs> I don't know what happened. Like, if someone said, hey, how did the Spanish lose? I don't know. I don't know, because I wasn't looking here as much as I should. And now the Austrians, it looks like the Austrians are desperately sending over some units from their right side of their army to try to save what's left of the Spanish army, which is really not a bad idea. Because even if Spain is low on troops, like, you can still get a lot done with this few of troops. I mean, what has he got? Two units? So three if you count the general. But hey, it all adds up. You want to try to save every man as possible. So, yeah, save every single soldier you can. And now we got some cav going after the Austrian cav. And that's probably going to cause them to break. And France is uh, growing in a... Growing in cav presence. They're definitely winning some cav charges here and there. It's it's still, I would say, fairly even with, like, cav strength. Because I still see the British have some decent cav left on the battlefield as well. So we'll see uh, how that plays out. I, I really do think cav is such an important element to this game. And if you lose too much, it could be a problem. Over here, the France. The, the France. The French. Ooh. Nice little volley there. The French look like... They don't have enough to win on this side. They really do because the British are looking very healthy. They've got the high ground. They've got artillery up here, which are still kind of shelling the French. Oh my goodness. Now we have a general down. Enemy general killed. That's going to be the Spanish general. Really not a huge win for the French. I mean... It is a win as in the fact for the fact that they just took out the entire Spanish Spanish army. I mean, look at this. Look at this. A big chunk of their force is just utterly breaking, utterly retreating off the battlefield, and that now leaves the coalition forces a bit well, a bit um in trouble. <laughs> a bit in trouble. Test test this is a test. So we'll see how this plays out, but um, it's not looking really good for the coalition. Uh, but nothing is impossible, that's for sure. Uh, over on this side, we could get a pretty solid coalition victory on this on this flank of the battle. But we'll see. So far, it, wow. Okay, so far it looks like a lot of uh, coalition forces are breaking. My goodness. And now they're turning their sides to the French guns. Which is a uh, big time problem. The French are going all in. They've taken the building. Their infantry is going in. Their calves going in. Multiple British forces are breaking. Unbelievable. Dude, like what is happening? What are these units that are just breaking? Like they're nothing. I don't know. I can't see but yeah, they are struggling, struggling against this French force. Are they, is this a cav charge right now? Are you seriously about to charge cav into this infantry? Oh my goodness, dude. Oh no, now we got infantry charging and look at this. The French smell defeat. They smell blood and they're going for it. They smell blood and they are going for it. My goodness. So it looks like the French are crushing on this front too. Not good. Man, I thought for sure the British were going to easily win this fight. I just by just by at first glance, it looked like they had the manpower, right? It looked like they had the strength to do it. They had the high ground, they had the building over here, but no, this oh, just man, turned. This turned out of their favor. Over on this side, it does appear that this town has been conquered by the French army. And this is just, so far, utter, utter domination. Now we have the French closing in from this flank as well. Uh, and I think what we're going to see here is the coalition consolidate their forces and basically pray 
for the French to make a stupid mistake and leave an opening for the coalition forces to come back in this battle. But as every couple minutes pass by, the chances of coalition forces winning this battle seems less and less. Oof. Lots of breaking from this force. Yeah, the French are going to clean them out. Uh, the British, Spanish, the Iberian forces, I think they're going to gather up onto this hill. Yeah, this is where they're making their last stand here. Now, I don't want to say this battle is over. I really don't. Because, one, I want to keep you guys watching. <laughs> uh, uh, but but seriously, I, I, I've seen crazier things in Total War. I mean, the last NTW battle, we saw a British army that looked like it was getting his booty spanked. But that's not the case. And they turned it around and just utterly crushed the French. So... We could see the British turn this around, but they need, they need, they need more than infantry, right? They need cav. They need artillery. Do they have that? Well, they've got artillery, so that will keep them afloat a little while. They do have to deal with the French artillery, which is still very well and active. But do they have cav? I think that's the big, the big what if. I don't really see cav over here and now we have um we have these forces forming up on the hill i mean this is a sizable army i would say a sizable army they do have the high ground so that's good but they're gonna need more than that they need cav they've got the artillery still alive over here so that's good god these guys look so awesome they look so awesome We have a huge reserve force down here from the French. I don't know what they're... Oh, is there like a flanking French unit over, or a British unit? I guess so. But, oh, wait, hold on. We might get a counter push here. Okay, I like to see this. I like to see this. The coalition is going for a counter push. They have a sizable force here, which I did not really see until now. And they're going to try to retake this town. Now, it does look bigger than it really is because there's like <laughs> five units right here breaking towards the enemy. So the French are probably like, hey, what's going on? Are they breaking or are they coming to attack us? I don't know. We'll see. Uh, back over in this way, same thing. Big epic battle. The coalition forces do have a bit of a high ground. And look at that. They're, they're coming back. They're coming back. See, this is why I love this mod. Units often break and return, like a realistic battle, you know? Soldiers don't like a certain situation they're in, they'll break, they'll regroup and try again. Oh man, look at the officer. Ah, Banzai! Banzai! The French go in with the bayonet charge. I think they're hoping that these units have broken before and potentially will break fairly quickly. They are hoping for a quick victory. We'll see, we'll see. But there's a ton. Where did these Austrian forces come from? Again, I assume these troops broke and they're now returning. But this is so chaotic. I don't even know what the heck's going on. There's just so many units fighting it out. The French look like they were going for a little bit of a flanking maneuver. And they're going aggressive with their units going in bayonet first. So far, it's looking like it's working. We got some grenadiers charging in. What a mess. What a mess. Where is this? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Where the heck? Okay, this is on the far flank. And once again, we've got a repeat over here. Where the French are now battling for this... this a strategic location because the Iberian forces have made a bit of a rally. They're even going. They're even going through the city streets. I think they're gonna. They're gonna set up here. Either charge the building, or they're gonna set up and fire on the flank of these French forces that are holding the uh, other side of the town. Oh, they're going down this alleyway. This is awesome. 
Oh, but they break instantly. <laughs> Not good. Not good. Now these troops are, uh, yeah, they're breaking the wrong way. They are breaking the wrong way. Back over in this side, things are once again just getting super chaotic. Super chaotic. More troops charging into the fray. British forces form square in a desperate attempt. A desperate attempt to hold off cav and infantry. So epic. So atmospheric. Atmospheric. Got some sapers over here. They're going in with bayonets as well. It's almost like the French are like, all right, enough. Oh, but a lot of French forces are breaking here. Let's zoom out and kind of see how this is... I mean, this, this the, the coalition could turn this around. If the French are too careful, I mean, that's what happens. I've seen this over and over in NTW3, where certain, certain armies have a little bit of success at the beginning, and they get too confident. I've done that too, because this game, it's not your typical total war. You can't just throw in troops and expect a good outcome. And I think, though, the French are strong enough here where they can do that is they've got some forces on the flank over here as well uh, they just need to move them up this terrain is not really helping them it's hard to see the enemy position but this was a mess of a fight and there we go uh, the French are victorious again and the British are breaking and folks it looks like we are witnessing the very end of the British forces yeah that's exactly what is happening very few amount of units left for the British and it looks like this one is over and let's just kind of step back and see what the heck happened what went, went wrong and honestly I think it just started off bad for the coalition right out of the gate uh, they lost multiple units of our artillery through cav charges uh, that was a huge loss uh, certain units were even picked on by cav like um, the British lights who were over there over here got charged uh, by by French Cav and uh, the French just they just dominated they just dominated I don't know what happened with Spain over on this side I mean Spain looked like they were doing okay I mean look at all these units look at what happened to Spain like this is like most of their troops are alive but they just didn't have the stomach to fight I mean oh my god this is probably why we have so much lag <laughs> The Austrian, same thing, just the Austrian battle just did not, like the battle for the town did not go well. And there goes another general. So guys, I think it's safe to say that this one is over. A pretty dominating, dominating um, uh, performance by the French. And uh, they just have a few more units to clean up. But there's really no point in watching that. There's no entertainment value in that, I suppose. So let's just get to the end results of the battle. All right, so here is the end results. Um, this was sent in by Guy. He did a fantastic job. Uh, I think he got the most kills. He was the one that was attacking, I assume. Was he the one attacking on the far right flank? Where he kind of took on two armies there and just dominated. You can see that um, Austria and Spain... Actually, Spain killed more than I expected. But um, the British Iberian force in Austria kind of struggled there. And that was... A big factor for their defeat so that's going to conclude today's episode guys thank you so much for joining me in this fun battle it was very chaotic but also a dominating performance performance by the french and a lot of fun to watch thank you guys so much for hanging out and i will see you next time on the battlefield